So our friends at Notion have been busy bees with their latest 2.14 version. In today's video, we're gonna overview a few of the latest Notion updates and give you a bit of insight into some of the changes they're making with the platform. Now, first off, I have to talk about the new tables ability. This is a great addition to Notion. It's actually something that I wish was there from a lot earlier, but it's almost like they're covering some of the smaller features they should have added at the start but in no way is that a bad thing. As you can imagine, you can create and customize tables and you can do that for absolutely anything, whether that's an event coming up and you want to be able to add all the relevant people and also all the relevant times, um, that's all doable. And one thing they've actually added that was more shocked at was something that I wouldn't actually think about, but they have added it. You can turn any of your simple tables into databases and in reverse as well. So if you've got a database that you want to turn into a simple table because you don't want to overcomplicate it by creating a database, you can do that, which is really neat. And if you've got a table that you want to turn into a database, you can turn in that into a database. So having that addition really opens up more flexibility in the platform, something I wouldn't think of actually, and I think it's a really neat addition. Now Notion have also added better comments. And I would probably say this is uh, in remark to what Microsoft Loop have done. Microsoft Loop have made the sort of comments experience a lot more interactive than Notion, but they've probably been working on this for much longer than how Loop has done it. So you can actually have comments in the margin and you can actually customize how the comments are viewed on individual pages by going to customize uh, page as well in the top right hand corner. So what's nice as well is they've added where you can see the unread comments on a specific page and you can actually find almost like an inbox, the comments that need to be uh, sort of interacted with per page on the right hand side comment on, on the right hand comment sidebar, which is a great addition. Now, obviously, we knew that the template gallery was one of Notion's strong points, but they've just redesigned it and made it look so much more attractive. Now you can view categories and duplicate it into your Notion really easily. And it looks a lot more professional than it did before. Although naturally, um, as you can imagine with a startup, it's still sort of growing pains. Um, and as you can imagine with loads of more templates that are being added, um, even paid ones um, are actually becoming more available. Uh, this is definitely a great addition to spruce this layout out. Now, Notion have been doing some great things recently. The link previews has been a good addition. Obviously, one of the biggest things they added was database groups and subgroups, and it's really changed the way uh, of how a lot of people work inside of Notion, especially with Teams. I feel like in the last couple of months, um, more particularly the last three months, they've definitely been trying to fix some of the core experiences in Notion and making it a lot more sort of solid um, and that's a great news because that's something that a lot of people get um, a bit annoyed at inside of Notion is the stability. Hopefully in the near future, they'll be adding offline mode and continuing to grow this sort of platform even further. Now, as you can imagine, uh, Notion is not just growing in funding rounds, but it's also growing in popularity. So I think over the last next couple of months, it'll be interesting to see what sort of features and functions they're gonna be adding. I have no idea, to be honest, um, just because of the way that Notion's grown, um, it's continuing to sort of uh, mold itself into a really interactive and innovative workspace tool. So it's really interesting to see their evolution um, and, and definitely something we'll be covering here on Keep Productive. So folks, hopefully you enjoyed this quick overview of what Notion have been doing and i'll talk to you all very soon hope you enjoyed it and uh i'll see you soon folks cheerio